Hi everyone, let's discuss the Maggi method to solve these problems. Well, it only means the method would be very fast to cook and good to eat. So a super simple shortcut which is going to make your complex numbers damn simple. So the answer to this one shall be... That's it. This one... Bingo! Well, why not reveal the secret magic formula and then complete the remaining questions? So whenever you come across this kind of format, that means 1 plus or minus iota raised to a certain power, all you need to do is take a deep breath and apply this formula, which says it will be minus 4 raised to power q into 1 plus or minus iota raised to power r. Now you must be wondering what are these Q and R. What you are going to do is this N which would be given you are going to divide it with 4. So the moment you do that you would be left with a certain quotient and a certain remainder. So that is what they are the quotient and the remainder and everything else gets so simple. Have a look like for the first one 1 plus iota raised to power 8. Well, luckily, 8 gets divided by 4 completely. So here I was left with minus 4 square. Since my remainder is 0, so it will be simply 1 plus iota raised to power 0. Whether I write it or no, we know it is 1. Plus the same format here, so minus 4 square, 1 minus iota raised to power 0. So 16 from here, 16 from here, make it 32. Wasn't this so quick? Look at the second one. Now looking at 13, when I divide it with 4, we know we can write it as 4 into 3 and the remainder is 1. So we use it as minus 4 cube 1 plus iota raised to power 1. So minus 4 cube is minus 64 minus 64 iota. That is the answer. So now in this one, when you divide 58 with 14, you know 14 into 4 is 56. So that means I can express it this way, plus 2 is the remainder. So it will be minus 4 raised to power 14. This time it's minus, so 1 minus iota whole square. Now this shall further become minus 4 raised to power 14 and this will be 1 plus iota square which will be 0 minus 2 iota. This is the answer. Similarly, your 101, if you try and divide, this will be 4 into 25 and the remainder would be 1. So minus 4 raised to power 25 into 1 plus iota. Bingo! Wasn't this so quick? Now look at 1 plus iota raised to power 27 minus 1 minus iota raised to power 27. Now you could be given any different numbers also but the formula would stay the same. So here this one, now again if I divide this with 27, I know 4 into 6 and the remainder would be 3. So I can say this is minus 4 raised to power 6, 1 plus iota raised to power cube minus minus 4 raised to power 6, 1 minus iota raised to power 3. Now you just need to simplify this. So this is minus 4 raised to power 6. I can take it common. Here you know you can open the brackets which will give you 1 plus this will be 3 iota plus 3 iota square plus iota cube. And from here it's minus and here you have 1 minus 3 iota plus 3 iota square minus iota cube and now you would see a lot of things getting cancelled like one is getting cancelled here 3 iota square gets cancelled here so we are left with this will be 3 iota and 3 iota that's 6 iota iota cube we know is minus iota so this is 2 iota cube iota cube is minus iota so minus 2 iota this will be minus 4 raised to power 6 into 4 iota which is minus 1 raised to power 6 would be 
one only so this will be 4 raised to the power 7 iota that's it that's your super quick answer i have a very interesting do it yourself question for you just apply the formula it would turn out to be really really simple so i'm waiting for your answers you know the top three answers get named in my upcoming videos I am sure you enjoyed this video. If yes, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Share it with all the people around you. And if you haven't done that so far, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. Now, also don't forget to check out the various playlists on my channel, which are on full concept videos and math shortcuts. I'll see you with a new exciting one very, very soon. Until then, bye-bye.